What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to teach you how to hammer curl. I'm not going to waste any of your time, so we're going to jump right into it. So the hammer curl is awesome because you have your hands in a neutral grip versus an open supinated grip as you would with a normal curl. The benefit here is you're going to get a lot more forearm work, you're going to work the side of your bicep. It's a different angle to attack the biceps. I recommend implementing both hammer curls and normal curls into your routine. So let's jump right into it. So one of the first mistakes people make is with their grip. If you're holding at the top here, you have natural support and you don't need to have as much grip because you have gravity working for you. I like to hold the bottom here. So I got a grip that really tight. You can see I'm already engaging more of my forearm and my bicep and it adds that extra level of challenge. Next up, you can either go single arm or dual arm. And there's two different ways to go about it. Here's where you can really play around and see what feels the best. So the first attempt is to go straight up, two hands right in front of you, in that neutral grip, shoulder width, squeezing all throughout. You also can implement the cross body variation. This is an excellent way to get extra attention to that biceps and really maximize the curl. So I really recommend you try both. Um, so in a nutshell, from the side here, you can see you want your arms a little bit in front, not behind. If they're behind, it restricts my range of motion. If they're too far forward, I'm gonna get in a lot of my shoulder here. So you wanna just be a little bit in front, nice and static, squeezing tight. You're gonna come up, squeeze all the way to the top, squeeze that bicep the best you can. Controlled negative, coming down right to here. Now you never wanna hyperextend your arm. If you're hyperextending your arm like this, you're putting all that tension in your elbow. That could cause pain, especially as the weights get heavier. So don't just drop the weights. That is a huge mistake. So you're gonna come up, big squeeze, control negative right before you get that full extension. Up, squeeze, full negative before that extension. If you wanna do the single arm variant, hit one at a time or else you're gonna hit bow. Um, otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. So be super attentive of where your arm is. Once again, another common mistake you wanna avoid is hooking. Like I said, this is gonna bring in your shoulder. It's not gonna work whatsoever. And you're gonna be recruiting the wrong muscles. But that is hammer curl in a nutshell. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Definitely rewatch the video. Make sure you really get everything in. Film yourself doing it. If you want, you can send a video to us of you doing the exercise and I'm more than happy to help you out. Instagram at Colossus Fit on the screen here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to smash subscribe, smash that like button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.